Welcome to Instrument Engineer Channel. This video is about question and answer that may arise in the interview session. This part is regarding the instrumentation for flow measurement. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get notified for the new videos. Question number one. Which flow meter that does not have an obstruction in the flow path? A. Orifice flange. B. Turbine flow meter. C. Positive displacement flow meter. D. Magnetic flow meter. Orifice plate is a head meter type flow meter. And the nature of the head type meter is it must have a change in the cross section area of the flow path. In the orifice flange, it is provided by a plate. Hence, a plate is an obstruction part in the orifice flange. Turbine meter measures volumetric flow by means of the rotor, which is rotated by the mechanical energy of the fluid passing it. Inside a turbine flow meter, there are a rotor and the straightening vane. So, that are the obstruction parts. Positive displacement flow meter also measures volumetric flow. It also has rotor inside the meter to break the fluid into quantified discrete volume. Magnetic flow meter is a volumetric flow meter which does not have parts in the flow stream. It has a magnet in the electrode but outside of the flow stream section. Hence, magnetic flow meter does not have obstruction part. The operation of a magnetic flow meter rests upon Faraday's law, which states, the voltage induced across any conductor as it moves at right angles through a magnetic field is proportional to the velocity of that conductor. The fluid must be electrically conductive for the Faraday principle to apply. However, magnetic flow meter will generally not work with hydrocarbons. It suits best for seawater intake, wastewater applications, or any dirty liquid, as long as it is electrically conductive. Question number two. Which flow meter that has the lowest turndown ratio? A. Orifice flange. B. Turbine flow meter. C. Positive displacement flow meter. D. Magnetic flow meter. Turn down ratio is the ratio of upper range and lower range value. Turn down ratio is also known as rangeability. Most of the turbine flow meter, positive displacement flow meter, and magnetic flow meter product in the market have turn down ratio of 10. Even more, for some special product. The answer is A. Orifice combined with differential pressure transmitter is the most widely used flow measurement device in the process plant because of low cost and its ease of installation and maintenance. However, orifice only allows 3 to 1 rangeability to maintain accuracy. So, why does orifice meter have a low turn down ratio? According to Bernoulli principle, the relationship between flow and pressure drop of fluid passing through an orifice is given by the following formula. Hence, the flow value could be obtained by measuring pressure drop. But, the relationship between them is square root, not linear. So, in order it does not suffer in linearity, the range is limit to 3 to 1 ratio. This means, if one wants to measure maximum flow of 9 mms CFD, then the minimum flow measurement that could be measured is only 3 mms CFD. Question number 3. Which of the flow meter below that measures the volume directly? A. Coriolis flow meter. B. Orifice flow meter. C. Positive displacement flow meter. D. Magnetic flow meter. A Coriolis type flow meter measures the flow rate by determining the torque caused by the radial acceleration of the fluid. It does not measure the volume of the liquid passing through the tube. It measures the amount of mass flowing through the device. 
a magnetic flow meter, as a device for measuring volumetric flow rate across a fluid stream by setting up a magnetic field perpendicular to the direction of flow. A flowing conductive fluid generates a voltage proportional to fluid speed. So, it measures the fluid velocity. Orifice flange, together with the differential pressure transmitter, use a primary element to place a constriction in the flow stream, causing a drop in pressure. Then, the resulting pressure's drop is measured and calculated to obtain the flow rate. A positive displacement flow meter measures the flow by breaking it up into discrete elements or packages of fluid. Each package has a known volume. So, the flow rate can be determined by counting how many discrete elements pass through the meter per unit time. Please subscribe to our channel since we will be releasing a new videos. Or visit instrumentationportal.com for more instrument and control related content. Thank you.